Bonjour à tous et à toutes, mon nom est Hypnot, c'est Marc, j'espère que vous allez bien, on se retrouve aujourd'hui pour notre épisode 9 de notre Let's Play sur la saison 2 de The Walking Dead, le jeu développé et édité par Turtle Games, alors que nous venons à peine d'être capturés par les membres du... Ah ben, du... Euh, de euh, Carver, vous voyez, nous sommes maintenant rendus au chapitre... chapitre 3, qui s'intitule En Danger, donc c'est parti, on va voir ce qui va arriver... Euh, Carver d'ailleurs qui a tué Walter et il a aussi, il a aussi euh, tué Alvin, le mari de Rebecca. On sait que l'enfant de Rebecca euh, proviendrait de Carver en sens aucun doute. <coughs> Donc c'est parti pour le début de l'épisode. De toute façon, je ne résume pas plus que ça parce que d'habitude il y a un petit résumé. Voilà. C'est ce qu'on va voir. Who do you think did this? Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? What's the most important thing in this world? Clem, it's family. People like Matthew aren't coming back. <laughs> Rebecca! Our baby deserves to be raised! In a place of safety! Ah! Go to hell, you fuck! We're going home. As a family. Oui, Clémentine, c'est un papillon. You about done over there? Yeah, one second. Thanks for coming with me. It's scary out here. I know they made you. It's still nice that you came. We're safer if we stick together. It's gonna be dark soon. Yeah, I know. But it's cool you came. I thought they were gonna tell my dad to go with me. Thanks. You're welcome. Everything come out all right, girls? Troy, get them tied up. Will do. Well, we're on our way. Probably 30 minutes out. Make sure everyone's prepped. Emotions might be running high. Carver out. If I find out you've been wasting fuel to keep that fucking heater going, I'll make you walk back. No, nope. froze my ass off. Just like you told me to. It ain't polite to listen to other folks' conversations. Has anyone ever taught you that? Where's your manners? No, stop! Don't hit my friend! You don't want to test me, girl. I'll pass every time. Leave her alone! Tie her up and throw her in with the rest of them. J'ai quand même l'impression que Bonnie va venir de notre côté là. Je sais pas si c'est maintenant, je ne sais pas de quelle façon. The Walking Dead. Épisode 3. En danger.
right, we gotta do something. Come on. Anyone got anything sharp? Anything? We need to get these bindings off. Hey, Clem, help me find something to get these off. Anything sharp that could cut these. And what good is that gonna do? The hell is wrong with you people? We gotta get out of here. The truck's empty. First off, we're in it, so it ain't exactly empty. If you don't want to help, then just say so, okay? I'll do it myself. We're in a fucking precarious position here. We gotta do something about Settle that. Settle down, Kenny. They took everything. We have to keep a level head. He's right. You don't know Bill like we do. Bill? This whole time it's Carver, Carver, Carver. Now he's fucking Bill? <laughs> oh, I see what it is. Y'all are just getting a ride home, aren't you? That's what's going on here. Say that again. I'd stay out of this, boy. Mister, I ain't a boy. No, right. You're a man. You don't understand. He's different. It's worse. The fuck are you talking about? He wants to punish us. Is he... Is he gonna kill us? I don't think so. He ain't gonna get the fucking chance. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Oh, he gave me a pretty good goddamn idea back at the lodge. And I don't intend to sit around here and let that happen to the rest of us. I'm trying to help! I'm sure Walter really appreciated your help. Like you helped Alvin? That's not fair! You're blaming him for the actions of a madman! I am pointing out that regardless of intent, there are consequences to rash actions. Something that he seems to be misreading as capitulation. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but I know it's bullshit. We have to do something. Kenny, you can't reason with him. Oh shit, jackpot. Sit down. You're going to get us all killed. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. We get cooped up in some kennel like a bunch of fucking dogs. It's over. You don't know that. Yeah? Well, I've been in this situation before. You ever been a prisoner? Stop fighting! Please. All right. Now we're talking. Carver will be on the other side of that door with ten people. <laughs> there, there, baby. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> At this point, maybe Luke is the only hope we have. If he was gonna do something, he'd have done it by now. Who knows what he's dealing with? Anything can happen out there. I'll tell you what happened. He abandoned us. You don't know that. I know he ain't here. He may not be around, but he wouldn't just leave us behind. That guy's a flake. I could tell the second I set eyes on him. We'll have to wait and see. It's all we can do. She's right. There's no way to know what's happened to him. I told you already. He's gone. Je suis pas sûr, moi, qu'il est parti comme ça. Il s'était beaucoup attaché à Clems. Donc, je ne sais pas. Okay, Look at me. You trust me, right? Kenny, please, just... just listen to them. They know him. I... I'm scared, Kenny. Okay, hon. That's okay. That's okay. All right. Everybody... Kenny! Uh, Kenny, are you okay? Is he okay? I think so. Oh, what hit me? It's probably for the best. <laughs> Bah finalement on n'a même pas eu le temps d'ouvrir la porte, hein. ils ont tellement briqué ça qu'il est rentré directement dans la porte. T'as pas dû faire de bien ça d'ailleurs. Poisson frais. Vous êtes arrivé à votre nouveau domicile. Alright, up and at him. The fuck? How'd you get your restraints off? Come here. We've got some familiar faces back with us tonight. Now, I understand some of you are confused as to why we bring these people back when they left us as they did. I think I've got an idea. Now, it might not come all at once, but time will heal these wounds. So be patient with them until it does. And take solace in knowing that they're here to help us make our home a better place. All these feelings you have of anger, betrayal, hate, they're all valid. No one needs to forget what they did, but we do have to find it in our hearts to forgive them. Look how much food they have. Oh, I hope you ain't saying what I think you're saying. As many of you already know, 
a large herd of lurkers gathers just south of us. Come on, we we'll need you for something. Can I wait until morning? We're all exhausted. Just come the fuck on. Turn our way. It's nothing we can't handle. I need him. I need my dad. I I can't. He's he looks after me. They have been taken into consideration. However, this is not up for debate. The expansion project. He'll be back. When? I don't know, but he will come back. Thanks, Clem. On va se rassurer quand même un petit peu. Make sure y'all stay off the fence. Bill can see if you're messing with it. Thanks, Barney. Yep. To provide a light, a bright light, bright enough to shine in all this darkness. So that is what we'll do. Y'all best get some rest, 'cause there ain't gonna be much for you tomorrow. You're gonna be working hard. That's for you. Yeah, it would be. Fucking Bill keeps me out in the cold, but at least I'll be comfortable. Hey, guys. Richie. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What did they do to you? This could have been worse. Trust me. I'm lucky to be alive. It's my fault. No, it's really not. I would tell you if it was. This happened well after you guys left. I guess I should. Reggie helped us you, but when we ran away. I know. I feel the same way. Why didn't he go with you guys when you left? I think maybe he was supposed to. But then he fell, and everybody kept running. Mm, I know he had both cool, his so. arms then. They got me working outside. Lurker snuck up on me while I was hammering something. Luckily, they took the arm off quick. Saved my life. That's awful. I'm so sorry. Look, it was my choice to help you guys. Hey, Reggie. Oh, hey, Troy. Don't go fucking up now. Bill's real close to letting you out of here. You make sure things stay nice and quiet out here tonight, and I'll be sure to let Bill know just how helpful you were. Yeah, you can count on me. Thanks, Troy. Don't mention it. <coughs> All right, let me introduce you. We were with them when we got caught. Hey, I'm Reggie. That's Sarita. Hello. And that's Kenny. Hey. Uh. Hello. Who are you? My name's Clementine. It's very nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, where's Carlos? Bill's already got him looking at some folks. Oh, okay. Good. What about Pete? Can you guys though. save it for the morning? Some of us got to be up early. Who's that? I don't know. I don't recognize the voice. No problem. Sorry about that. Okay, that's Mike. He's kind of a dick when he's tired, but like I said, he saved my life, so I put up with that shit. Bill put him to work outside the wall with me. I'm so sorry. Stop with all the sorry. It was my choice. Besides, he said once you were all caught, he'd let me rejoin the group. So I'm glad you're here. I'm just joking. I know. I mean, he did say that, but I'm not happy about it. Who's she? Hmm. Who? The girl over there. Oh yeah, right. Okay, so she's fucking weird. They found her sneaking around outside the camp, covered in guts and just like the grossest shit. It's probably best not to stare. Mmh, elle me dit quelque chose, celle-là. Je sais pas. Look, Je ne sais pas. C'est really not that bad here. Reggie. No, I'm serious. Where else are you going to find food like we have? We've got the canned stuff and now with the greenhouses coming along, we've got fresh food. The building's getting more and more secure all the time, mostly through forced labor, but that's only temporary. They've even got the solar panels working. When was the last time you had electricity, huh? Well, we just came from a lodge with a wind turbine. It's not a competition. I'm just saying, it's not as bad as you think. On lui pète sa ballon, je crois. Great here, guys. A real community. Bill is making it happen. 
Look, I've made mistakes, and he's forgiven me. That doesn't make up for what he's done, Reggie. I know that, but I'm starting to see what this place offers. I didn't before, and with the accident, it's just that much more important now. Carver killed my friend Walter. Okay, I, I don't know what happened, but maybe he had his reasons. He killed Alvin, too. Listen, I'm really close to getting let back into the group. Once that happens, I can do a lot more to help you guys be more comfortable. Comfortable? What do you think this is? I just don't want you to mess things up for me. I've worked really hard to get to this point. Will you please just try not to cause any trouble? At least until they release me. Then, once I'm out, I could help you more. Maybe even help get you out. We won't get you in trouble. They're expecting me to keep things in line out here. Well, if Carver's such a great guy, I'm sure you've got nothing to worry about. We can at least talk about it more in the morning. Just have a quiet night and chat again tomorrow. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Look, the fact is, Bill had every reason to kill me when I helped you guys, but he didn't. Obviously, I don't know what happened while you were all gone, but he's given me a second chance, and I know he'd do the same for you. Mm, yeah, Reggie, but... I don't want a second chance. After what so he did to que... Alvin, I want him dead. Pas mal parce que Rebecca porte son enfant, après moi. I need to sit down. Yeah, come on. Sarah, can you go see if there's something for her to drink? Okay. Yeah, there's water over by the benches. Ah, that didn't go as planned. Should have actually made a plan. Man, fuck that guy. I don't think we can trust him. I mean, clearly, he's already drank too much of the Kool-Aid. I think he's just scared. Everybody's scared. Ain't an excuse to sound like a nutcase. You gotta take a look around. We gotta know if there's anything we can exploit to get out of here. We're in a tight spot. Gonna have to wriggle our way out. Well, what should I be looking for? Stuff that they don't want us to know about. That Troy asshole's gone for now. This is our chance. Don't worry about Reggie. I'll go help run interference on him. D'accord, donc ils veulent qu'on s'en aille et tout ça, là. Walker just snuck up on you, huh? Yep, I was uh, distracted. Just wasn't thinking. There's all kinds of noise, hammering and stuff. I saw its shadow. It moved in front of one of our work lamps down here and knocked it over. Couldn't even see for a second. D'accord, il y a des trucs, des trucs un peu partout, là. Can't believe you survived. I can't either, honestly. Looks kind of crappy. The walker then took off the arm really quick, like he'd done it before. Hey, Clem, come on. Don't be like that. She ain't doing nothing wrong, Reggie. Just relax. How can I relax when she's walking around touching everything? Il a une corde avec une échelle juste à côté. Brisé bien entendu. Du fait le barbelé donc on ne peut pas passer par dessus. Reminds me of the jewelry store. Then I just stood there while a guy yelled Reggie for five minutes. I should really get out of Clementine, please. I asked really nicely. I don't want hey, to. What the hell is she doing? No, that uh, nothing. <laughs> you know, kids. They love not listening. You had one job, Reggie. This is real disappointing. Gonna have to tell Bill about this. Please, come on. Hey, don't be like that, man. You shut your fucking mouth. I don't know you. Dad! Oh, you're all fucked up now. Bill's gonna hear about this shit. Troy, please. Fuck you, Reggie. This is setting you back a few. Get comfortable, asshole. He was trying to help. She's just a kid. No one's talking to you, Indian lady. Hey! It's fine. I am Indian. 
Everybody get to bed. <laughs> Some of these folks ain't too keen on leaving. It's up to us to figure out a way out of here. You up for it? It's your decision. I'll try. You'll do just fine. Now get some sleep. We'll need it. Je ne sais pas. On va, on va peut-être essayer de pas rester là. Lee nous a appris de toute façon à être seul. Donc au final, ça ne dérange pas trop. Je vais attendre que la sauvegarde se fasse correctement avant de vous quitter parce que oui, ce sera déjà la fin de cet épisode, voilà. Donc on a rencontré euh, bah, les endroits où nous allons habiter, on va voir ce qui va se passer pour la suite. Merci d'avoir regardé cet épisode, n'hésitez pas à laisser euh, un pouce bleu, vos commentaires et à vous abonner à la chaîne si ce n'est pas déjà fait. Allez, ciao ciao